Hello, welcome to another Sonic Racing Coastal Morning tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going through importing animations into the game. It could either be custom animated ones or ones edited from the game. For the sake of being brief and not taking forever, I'm going to choose edit one already in the game. Uh, first things first, go into your, your scene settings in, in, in Blender, in output, and change the frame rate to 60. Then import the model. If you if you want a, a more in-depth video on extracting files, you can look at the tutorial for extracting files as should be the second video on the playlist so import shadows mesh for the animation i'm going to be editing the one for the cactus section screen for when you actually pick shadow Now, one thing to keep in mind, actually, what I want here, is that there are two types of animation. Once I said CHR, which are usually for the character itself, and for cars, and once I said HBR. HBR are for hovering, which, which is to mean when they're in, in an extreme gear. Some animations only exist in one type, which is CHR. For example, the wind animations for the ceremony are all only CHR, because Shadow does that regardless of what, what he's uh, driving. Now, let's continue. Import the PSA with the animation. Ignore the error, the error is completely fine. All right, so here. This is the animation he does when you select them in the side screen. So I'm going to limit the frame rate from 0 to 196. You can see the animation plays just fine. Now you can either make your edits or animate, what you, or animate your own, whatever you want to do. I'm going to make a quick time-lapse of me editing and editing the animation. I'm probably going to do something very simple, I'm making a spin or something. And we'll be back once you need to export it out of Blender. Alright, once you've done your edits or your animation, whatever you want to do, we're going to export it. First, remember, remember to change the armature name to armature instead of SK Shadow or SK Sonic or SK whatever, and also the first one on the list, which should be named the same as the skeleton. Now we export with these settings. I'm going to export it here. To, actually, now I'm going to export it into the tutorial folder. I'm going to make a new one called animation. And remember to, in armature, disable add leaf bones, set the scale to 0 0.01. Animation, disable these two. You don't need to if you only have one animation, but just in case, uh, do it and name the effects, whatever. I want to name it idle. Let it export it. We go into Unreal Engine. All right. Now that you're in Unreal Engine, let, let's get to work on this. First thing you need to do is get a folder called Union, Asset, Character, then Common, Skeleton. And now we're going to go into our retalk dump of the game to get the actual skeleton from the game and put it in here. You need to do this with whichever skeleton you're working with. If you're working with a, with a side mouth skeleton for a character, you need to instead put it in the character's mesh folder. For example, for Shadow, it will be here. If you're working with a big skeleton, you will use slash skeleton instead of normal skeleton. But for this, for this particular case, we're using normal skeleton. So, asset, common, oops, character, common, skeleton, copy normal skeleton, go here, right click, Show in Explorer and paste. Now, sometimes it might not show up. If that happens, you need to close Unreal Engine and reopen it, and then it will read it. So let's do that. All right, as you can see, after restarting, we have our skeleton here. Now let's import the animation. I'm going to make a new folder here called Animation. Because we're going to need to obviously cook the animation later. And I'm going to go into Mesh. I'm going to import the shadow mesh that I have. So we have a way to preview the animation, obviously. Uh, I have idle, drag and drop. Here in Skeleton, change it from Known to Normal Skeleton right here. Scroll all the way down in, and enable Import Animations, then just press Import All. Now, as you can see, we have a physics asset, an animation, and a mesh. We can ignore the mesh in the physics asset, asset, but I'm going to save everything so we can actually still look at the preview. And as you can see, the animation plays just fine. If your animation doesn't play fine, you probably didn't do the export settings correctly, so you should probably go back and redo the process. Now, 
we need to name the animation. As I said, we're going to represent the character, character structure animation. So you can go into F model and right click the animation you're going to be changing, copy and package name without extension. This will give you just the name. You can just edit the, the name, save, and that's it. Move it to the animation folder, obviously, because that's where it needs, it needs to go. And that's the whole process. Now you simply go into platforms, windows, cool contents. I'll be back once this is done cooking. All right, we have, we have finished cooking, so now we can import the animation into the game. To do this, we're going to do the usual retalk workflow re, re import. So go into the engine, windows, union, saved, cooked, windows, union, content, and copy the shadow animation folder. Actually, I'm going to copy the whole character folder because I don't have it here anymore. I was testing other things before. Now, what repack? Uh, well, one folder, I'm sorry. Retalk workflow. In mod union content uh, zero one union assets and then just paste the character. I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need it. Shadow, we're going to delete everything except for the animation folder. Oops. And there should be only one animation in there. These two files. So now we're going to go back, game mod, and we're going to epac mod. Copy the finished assets into the game. Properties, install files, browse, union, content, facts, and basic. You see, it didn't play because it's on a hoverboard, so let's give him a car. I failed to play circle there. All right, so now you can see the animation plays correctly. As you can see, the imported animation doesn't have any people movement. Why? This is because people, people movement is done with curves. This is why we needed the, the custom skeleton. You can press on curves, add curve. Now you have IL move U and IL move B. This will move the left eye either up or down. Uh, I'm sorry, either, either horizontally or vertically. And the same thing with the right eye. You can open U it like this. For this, you need a material that actually supports that. For this, we can get some materials from Rin. Right, I'm going to leave these assets in the description as well as a link to them. Uh, this is from Rin. This, th these are assets from Rin's uh, Sonic Virus shader uh, mod. We can use this to preview the eye because it's gonna be easier that way than making a material on your on our own. So let's go into character, go Explorer, and then we can just drag and drop everything there. Actually, let's go one back and import everything from character and common into it. I'm going to skip this file because I don't want this replaced. And now we have Sonic folder with all of these assets. As you can see, this has an eye. So now if we uh, assign this to Shadow, I'm going to do this real quick. All right, I'm gonna save, and I go back to the animation. Now, as you can see, the eyes are, are showing up. Now, how do we animate them? We add a curve. I'm going to add horizontal movement to left eye, and I'm also going to add horizontal movement to the right eye. Now, keep in mind, editing curves is a little too laggy in my taste. Unreal Engine freezes too much, but it's so far the only way to do it. At least that I know of. So I'm gonna we're gonna go into edit curve, and I'm gonna add a keyframe here. And also another keyframe, let's say here. Now take a it's gonna take a second because this is just a laggy process. Now I'm going to edit this keyframe to speed say five. So it'll take a second, obviously. As you can see, his eye is missing because it's rotated all the way around. So now, as you, as you play the animation, you'll see that it comes back. Now let's do the same to the other eye. Edit curve. Oops, didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, we're going to add another keyframe here for RI. And instead, I'm going to make, I'm going to go here so I can look at it. And I'm going to make another keyframe for the RI. I'm going to make this go to like 1.5. See now both eyes are gone. And as we play the animation, it will come back. And that's how you do eye animation. It's pretty tedious sometimes, but it is what it is.